In this video, we're going to get started with Bootstrap by understanding the basic structure of Bootstrap, which is the grid system used in Bootstrap. So on the Bootstrap website, to get more information on the grid system, you can click on CSS. And then you can click on the grid system over here to understand more. But I will explain in a much simpler way how this grid system actually works. But let me show you an example. With Bootstrap, and this is one of the websites that I've developed myself, using the grid system in Bootstrap, in Bootstrap 3 to be exact, you can very easily control the way your website looks like on a desktop and as well as on a tablet or on a mobile device. So using the Bootstrap grid system, everything looks good because everything is aligned perfectly. And you may not realize that at first, but your eyes know the difference between something that is perfectly in alignment as opposed to something that is even a few pixels out of alignment. So you can see it's a really good clean template over here, but with the bootstrap grid system, you can segment or you can create components of your content, different types of content, embed a video, whatever you want. And this will scale automatically when your visitors are from a mobile device or on a tablet or any other smaller screen. I'm going to show you what happens in the bootstrap grid system. So for example, when someone visits my site from a tablet, which is roughly about this size, and you can see right now instantly the changes that happen. And you go smaller and you can see that you can control bootstrap to be very specific in such a way that you can show a completely different layout for mobile users or ipad or even um, smaller screen desktops okay and one thing i like to highlight here is that the grid system in bootstrap is not about just uh, collapsing stuff, collapsing the uh, divs or collapsing the elements on top of one another as your screen gets smaller, but you can specify something that is the best uh, result or the best layout for a screen. So I want you to pay attention to this section here where for desktop, the best option will be to, of course, put it one, two, three side by side over here. But when the screen gets smaller, I don't really have space for displaying it side by side. So as for a tablet, this is still okay. But now you come to a mobile device and as the screen gets smaller, I prefer to put it like this instead of side by side. And this is what we're gonna learn to do uh, in Bootstrap using the grid system of Bootstrap. And the other thing is that you can also display different buttons, different elements, anything you want. It's more work, of course, but it makes sure or it ensures that your visitors will have the best experience if they are from a mobile device. The last thing you want them to do when they visit your site from a mobile device, which more and more users are starting to do, is to have difficulty navigating your site or to be stuck trying to click on buttons that are designed for a desktop experience. So now let's get started with the actual course material. You can go to Coda and open the site, okay? And in your site um, documents over here, I want you to open up blank.html. And we're going to save this blank.html as something uh, different. So I'm going to save it as, let's call this grid html g r i d and click on save okay now let's open the preview window to see exactly what happens when we start working so all you see now is a blank slate for you to build quickly okay so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, build the very basic element of bootstrap which is a complete uh, grid for you to display content so you can select this and delete it and you can select the paragraph as well and delete it okay let me make the fonts larger so it's easier to see so to create a row in bootstrap what you have to do is get started with a div tag assign a class to it 
and we're going to call this class as container so the container is the uppermost level for layout now once the container has been created we're going to create another div inside of it and we're going to call it uh, we're going to assign the class to it as row so in bootstrap or in most great designs this is the basic structure you have a container and then you have your row and in that row you can have multiple columns so in bootstrap 3 the class for column is col dash md or dash xs in bootstrap 3 unlike in bootstrap 2 uh, there's different classes for different screen sizes but in most cases we can start with div class call and you can see the options appear here in coda that is actually from the bootstrap css so there's tons of them here so lg is for column large this is for really wide screens okay and then as you can go down here you have md which is for medium sized screens and you also have column sm which is for smaller screens like tablets and column x S, which is for really small screens like uh, mobile devices so we're going to go with column MD so we're going to type dash MD and now you want uh, to specify the width of the column so in bootstrap each row is divided into 12 columns and no matter what you do the total columns in each row must equal to 12 let's start with the basic example here and put 12 so that will take up the entire row and I'm going to close that div over here okay so this here is the basic uh, component of a bootstrap page you have a container inside the container you have a row and inside the row you can have as many columns as you want in this case we've gone for column MD 12 so there's 12 columns now let's try typing something here okay so in the preview you can see the text hello world here starts to appear okay now let's split this row into two sections so what we're going to do is we're going to only use half of the row by changing this to column md6 okay and let's create a new div and give it column md6 as well remember the total columns in each row must be 12 anyway you can see now that you have hello world over here and you have hello again over here now to make it easy for you to see exactly the size of the uh, columns i would recommend adding some color to it Okay, so I'm going to put here uh, style. Okay, I'm going to put background, color. Okay, and I'm going to okay so now you can see the actual color here and that shows you how wide this div is let's copy this style and put it in the next column as well okay so you have six columns here and six columns here and that makes up 12 columns for the entire row and the row is of course the size of the row is determined by the container so in bootstrap there is an additional class for container if you want to make your website or your web page stretch from end to end of the screen you can use container fluid okay so when you change to container fluid and you can see the difference here it's end to end but i would i don't recommend using container fluid unless you're designing uh, for an app 
application that is actually end-to-end. -end. For most websites, um, people don't read the screen from end-to-end, -end. they only read what's uh, in the middle. So I don't recommend using Container Fluid, but it's there if you need to use it. Okay, so now we're back to the main um, row. Now let's try something different. What happens if we want to split this row up into three different sections? So I'm going to copy this again and I'm going to paste it here. So now that we have three, six columns in a row, you can see that the last column automatically goes down. Okay, so that's how Bootstrap works. It can only accommodate 12 columns in one row. Everything else will be put or will be moved downwards. So if we want to have all these columns in a row, if you remember or you were listening, the maximum you can have in each row is 12 columns. So 12 divided by 3 is 4. So you can change this to 4, change all of this to 4. And here you have three columns in a row. So this is the basic of uh, the bootstrap grid system. You have container that specifies the size or the, the maximum width of the content area. And then you have a row and in the row you can specify uh, different columns. So you can even change this to six columns. I'm just going to copy that and I'm going to paste it again and again and one more time okay so now we have way too many columns in a row and what happens is it gets uh, placed down okay or it gets moved downwards and there's nothing wrong with it but let's make sure that we have only 12 columns in a row and that means each of these columns is going to be two Okay, and here we have six columns. The width of each column is two, and that makes up for 12. So go ahead and give this a try in your own exercise files. And of course, you can just copy the code from the snippets, and you can do that, but I would recommend that you try typing it in manually, like what I've done here, and that will help you to learn much, much faster.